Hello guys, welcome to SS Multimedia. This is Arjun Kokonda here, and today we will be learning about tenths and hundreds. So, our objective for the day will be understanding the tenths and hundreds place in the place value chart and being able to identify them in a number. So, we will be learning about the tenths and hundredths place in a place value chart. So you need to be able to know what they are in a place value chart. And we need to be able to identify them. So let's get started. Now, what is the tenths place? A lot of you might be thinking, I know what the tenths place is. Well, the tenths place would be, let's say we have 96. In this number, the tenths place would be 9. Pretty sure most of you will be thinking about that. But we are thinking about tenths place. So we have a th here. So the tenths place is like, in, it's in a decimal. So let's say we have 0 0.79. So in this number, our tenths place would be the number right after the decimal. This is our tenths place, the 7. So the tenths place is the number that comes right after the decimal. In this number, it would be 8. Then here, it would be 7. So yeah. Now, let's talk about the hundredths place. So... Again, this is not the hundreds place. The hundreds place is, well, I'm going to give you an example. The hundreds place would be 8 in this number. But the hundreds place we're learning about is also, again, in a decimal. So I'm going to show you an example. So let's say we have 9.79. Okay? In this number... We know that this is tenths place because we learned that in the last one. So the hundreds place would be this number, the nine. So the hundreds place is the number or the digit that comes after the tenths place. Tenths place, sorry. Or you can say that comes after the number that comes after the decimal. That obviously is a bit too long. So you can just say the hundreds place number is the number that comes right after the tenths place number. Hundreds and tenths. So now I'm going to show you how to identify them. Identify the digit in tenths and hundredths place. Again, tenths and hundredths. Don't get confused. So let's get started. Our first problem is 0 0.09. So when we learned about the tenths place digit, we learned that it comes right after the decimal. So that means this is our tenths place number. Now, if you don't understand, you can draw a place value chart. So, let's say this is our place value chart. So, we have tens, ones, and then this is our decimal. Let's just put a point there. And then we have tenths, so I'm going to put th. So, don't think this is thousands, this is tenths. And this is hundreds. I'm going to put two H's. Okay, so now in the tens place, we have nothing, so we can just put a zero. In the ones place, we have a zero. Let's put a zero. And then in the tens place, we have a zero. And then in the hundreds place, we have a nine. So you can do something like this. You can create a place value chart and set the numbers up. And then you'll understand where the go, where the numbers goes so we know that zero is in tenths 
place and 9 is in hundredths place. So tenths is 0, hundredths is 9. Now let's do another one. So we are going to use highlighters this time. Make sure you have at least three highlighters, three different colors. So now, let's get started. So we're trying to figure out the digit in tenths and hundredths again. So now, we know that we have no use of these two numbers or digits, four and five. So we don't, use, we don't need to use them. So if you want, you can cross them off. I'm just gonna highlight those in green. Now, Let's highlight 9, but in a different color. I'm going to use blue. Okay, and then we obviously have no digit after 9. So we don't need to add anything there. So now let's start doing the problem. We have no use of this, these two, so ignore them. Just think they're not there. We're trying to figure out the number in tenths place. And like I said, the tenths place is always the number after the decimal point. So that means the number in blue, which is 9, is the number in tenths place. Now, we can't just leave hundredths place because we still need to put the number in hundredths place. So now we're just going to use something really simple. So let's say we have 45.9, which is the same number as here. I'm just going to use that. So what would be the number in hundreds place? Well, it would be a zero because it would be the same thing. So that's the same thing to do with the numbers after the decimal point. So right here, in hundreds place would be a zero. So let's write that down. Hundreds place is a zero. Now let's do our third problem. So we have 881.24. This time I'm going to combine both the methods. So I'm going to highlight the 881 in green again. So there we go. Now I'm going to highlight the 24, I mean the 2 actually, in blue. There we go. Now I'm going to highlight the 4 in a different color. I'm going to use yellow. You can use whatever you want. So there we go. Now that we have separated them, let's try to find the answer. So right here, we have... 881, which we're not going to use. So first off, let's draw a place value chart. I'm going to try to draw it as neatly as I possibly can. So, there we go. Now let's separate it. So tens, actually no, hundreds, because this time we're starting with hundreds. So hundreds, tens, ones, decimal, and then tenths and hundreds. Okay, so let's separate these. And these. There we go. So we have eight, eight, and one here. We're not gonna use those, so we don't they don't really matter. Then again, we're putting two there and four there. So we know that in tenths place. We have a 2. So that means a tenths place number is a 2. And then our number in the hundredths place is a 4. So our hundredths place number equals a 4. So that's how you use a place value chart in different colors, I guess, to figure out the numbers in tenths and hundredths places. Problem time. Now, what you guys are going to do is you're going to pause the video and then try these three problems by yourself. Good luck.
Did you get the answers? Well, now let's see if it's right or not. So let's get started. So this time, let's draw up a place value chart again. So let's say that's our chart. And then we're going to separate it into four, five actually, including the decimal point. This is our decimal. And then we have two right there. So this is our tens. And this is our ones. This is our, I mean, tens, actually. And then this is our hundreds. Now, I'm going to put one right there and two right there, even though those really don't matter as much. And then we're going to use the nine and eight. So let's put a nine and eight right there. Obviously, as you can see, we have a nine in the tenths place. And then a H, I mean, an eight in the hundreds place. So I'm going to put arrows right there. Okay, so that means our number in tenths place equals 9. And our number in hundredths place equals 8. That was easy. Let's do another one. Right here, we have 7.09. So this time, I'm going to use highlighters. So we're going to ignore the 7. So my ignoring number, I mean color, is green, so I'm going to put green right there. And then we're going to do tenths place in blue because that's the color I used before. There we go. And then for hundreds place, we're going to use yellow because that's the number I used before. There we go. So that is our highlighted colors. Now we're just going to look at them separately. So... Like I said, when we were exp uh, learning about the tenths place, after the decimal point comes a tenths place number. Then after that comes a hundredths place number. So that means a hundredths place number is 9, and then a tenths place number is 0. So write that down. Now there's another way you can use highlighters. So you can just um, assign colors. So let's say we have 40, I mean 80.26, okay? So you can just assign colors. So let's say your, your uh, ignoring color is yellow. So you're just going to ignore all the numbers coming before the decimal point. And then, let's say your color for the number after the decimal point, right after the decimal point, is blue. So, let's just use that. And then, let's say your number after that is green. So, let's do that. There we go. So, that's kind of how it would look like. Now, if you just assign numbers, you will easily understand that these you're ignoring and these two you're figuring out so you sh you should usually understand that the number in blue is tenths and then the number in green is hundreds so yeah you can use colors like that now let's do our third problem so we have 123.76 so what we're gonna do is again I'm going to use my ignoring color, which is green. And then I'm going to put blue for the next, I mean, blue for the next one, yeah. So I'm going to put blue right there. And then for the number after that, I'm going to put yellow because that's the color I use. So there we go. Now, we're going to use a place value chart. So draw a place value chart. So that's our chart, and then we have tens. Actually, no, we're starting with hundreds again. So I'm gonna put hundreds, not tens. So let's put hundreds, tens, ones, decimal, 
and then we have tenths and then hundredths. So I'm going to separate these now. Now let's write our numbers. This is one, two, three. We don't need those, so let's just ignore them. And then we have seven after the decimal point and then six. That means that this is our tenths place and this is our hundredths place. So, yeah, that means our tenths place number is seven, and our hundredths place number is six. And that's it for our lesson today. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. If you liked this video and it helped you out, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos.